Okay, lesson 99 of A Course in Miracles. Salvation is my only function here. Salvation and forgiveness are the same. They both imply that something has gone wrong, something to be saved from, forgiven for, something amiss that needs corrective change, something apart or different from the will of God. Thus do both terms imply a thing impossible, but yet which has occurred resulting in a state of conflict seen between what is and what could never be. Truth and illusions both are equal now, for both have happened. The impossible becomes a thing you need forgiveness for, salvation from. Salvation now becomes the borderland between the truth and the illusion. It reflects the truth because it is the means by which you can escape illusions. It is yet, it is not yet the truth because it undoes what was never done. How could there be a meeting place at all where earth, where earth and heaven can be reconciled with a, within a mind where both of them exist? The mind that sees illusions thinks them real. They have existence in that they are thoughts and yet they are not real because the mind that thinks these thoughts is separate from God. What joins the separated mind and thoughts and thoughts with mind and thought which are forever one? What plan could hold the truth inviolate yet reconcile, sorry, and yet recognize the need illusions bring and offer means by which they are undone without attack and with no touch of pain. What but a thought of God could be this plan, by which the never done is overlooked, and sins forgotten which were never real. The Holy Spirit holds this plan of God exactly as it was received of him, within the mind of God and in your own. It is apart from time in that its source is timeless. Yet it operates in time because in your belief that time is real, unshaken does the Holy Spirit look on what you see, on sin and pain and death, on grief and separation and loss. Yet does he know one thing must still be true. God is still love and this is not his will. This is the thought that brings allusions to the truth and sees them as appearances behind which is the changeless and the sure. That's so beautiful. I'm just going to read that again. This is the thought that brings illusions to the truth and sees them. So there's, a, there's an observer that sees them as appearances behind which is the changeless. So behind the illusions of this world is the changeless, the eternal. This is the thought that saves and that forgives because it lays no faith in what is not created by the only source it knows. Just to add there, if it uh, gives no faith, then it gives no meaning to all illusions that pass by in the world of the transitory. This is a thought whose function is to save by giving you its function as your own. Salvation is your function with the one to whom the plan was given. Now are you entrusted with this plan along with him, he has one answer to appearances, regardless of their form, their size, their depth, or any attribute they seem to have. Isn't that beautiful? He has, he has one answer to all appearances, everything of thought, transitory thoughts, bodies, forms, crowds, regardless of how big the, you know, the object is or the size of it. So carrying on, salvation is my only function here. God still is love, and that is not his will. You who will yet work miracles, be sure you'll pra you practice well the idea for today. Try to perceive the strength in what you say, for these are words in which your freedom lies. Your father loves you. All the world of pain is not his will. Forgive yourself the thought. He wanted this for you. Then let the thought with which he has replaced all your mistakes enter the darkened places of your mind. That thought uh, of your mind, that thought, the thoughts that never were his will. 
This part belongs to God, as does the rest. It does not think its solitary thoughts and make them real by hiding them from him. Let in the light and you will look upon no obstacle to what he wills for you. Open your secrets to his kindly light and see how bright this light still shines in you. Practice his thoughts today and let his light seek out and lighten up all darkened spots and shine through them to join them to the rest. It is God's will your mind be one with his. It is God's will that he has but one son. It is God's will that his one son is you. Think of these things in practicing today and start the lesson that we learn today with this instruction in the way of truth. Salvation is my only function here. Salvation and forgiveness are the same. Then turn to him who shares your function here and let him teach you what you need to learn to lay all fear aside and know yourself as love, which has no opposite in you. This is also great, has no opposite. So there is no duality. You, can, you as an object cannot suffer another object. So forgive all thoughts which would oppose the truth of your completion, unity and peace. You cannot lose the gifts your father gave. You do not want to be another self. You have no function that is not of God. Forgive yourself, the one you think you made. Forgiveness and salvation are the same. Forgive what you have made and you are saved. There is a special message for today which has the power to remove all forms of doubt and fear forever from your mind. If you are tempted to believe them true, remember that appearances cannot withstand the truth these mighty words contain. Salvation is my only function here. God still is love, and this is not his will. Your only function tells you you are one. Remind yourself of this between the times you give five minutes to be shared with him who shares God's plan with you. Remind yourself, salvation is my, fun is my only function here. Thus do you lay forgiveness on your mind and let all fear be gently laid aside, that love may find its rightful place in you and show you that you are the Son of God. Okay. <clears throat>